hello everyone and welcome in image processing course uh, before diving into any processing task first you need to know what images are and how they are represented in MATLAB so first of all we uh, need to create our current directory that we are going to work in and in my case I am using DIP 101 folder in MATLAB folder and a test images folder is uh, created for, to uh, do some processing on some images and the test images are in my test image directory I had downloaded uh, these images from Google Im uh, imaging search and uh, with the uh, usage right of uh, free to uh, modify and use uh, you can use your own images or can download from the Google as well so uh, the first task in any image processing related project is to read an image from some source in our case the reading from the uh, directory which is test image directory so let's load an image I say uh, when we load the image from the directory we need to store that image somewhere and in our case we are storing that image in X name uh, variable named X you can name this variable whatever you like so the function that is used to read an image from a directory is called the I am read function this function is provided under image processing toolbox with the MATLAB if you don't uh, find this function it means you don't have installed the image processing toolbox so go and grab image processing toolbox most of the time it comes with uh, default installation of MATLAB but if you don't see this function just make sure that you have installed the image processing toolbox the main uh, benefit of using this toolbox over computer vision toolbox is that you can also perform the same coding in GNU Octave which is a free alternative of MATLAB so if you are following my tutorials you can perform the image processing code same that I'm using here on GNU Octave which is freely available to download and use unlike the MATLAB which is proprietary software and you need to pay some amount to use this software okay so uh, coming back the first arg uh, argument first and only argument that I'm going to use is to read an image from my test dash images directory and if I place a slash uh, after slash I will provide the image name which is in my case is t1.jpg so this image will be loaded don't forget to put a semicolon after the image because because if you don't put a semicolon after the final command the result will be displayed right next to the command so it will uh, some uh, times uh, just uh, stuck your uh, MATLAB for few seconds uh, if you want to see just look here now you uh, you can see that how big numbers are being displayed because image is very big and your MATLAB is stuck for a few seconds because command window is filled with all your image matrix uh, but this also help you to visualize that an image when it's read in a MATLAB it it is stored in m matrix if this image is a color matrix then it is a three depth a three level depth matrix which is kind of two dimensional matrix three times okay so I mean to say this image has uh, let's uh, find out the size of X here you can see the size of X is 607 by 910 by 3 so this 3 means this is 3 level depth image which is mean color image RGB and here you in the workspace you can see that this image is also uh, displayed like this is an answer that uh, over command that I just typed which is a size command and X is 60 
seven by nine one zero by three matrix. So this image is uh, uh, comparatively large, and if we perform, uh, if we try to display this image, we can use a figure to display the image on and I am show function to display this image which is X in our case so if we hit enter we will see that an image is displayed but on the background we are also facing a warning this warning says that image is too big to fit on a screen and displaying at 67 percent it means that it automatically shrink down that image at the at 67 percent and display the image if you want to get rid of this warning you can resize image which is our next task in image processing to resize an image it is um, many time when you prepare your data set it be the case that your image images that you collected are of different sizes so you want to shrink down or scale up that images into a similar size it it will also be helpful when you are uh, creating your feature matrices in your computer vision task to resize your matrix in a scale where you all images are of same size so let's do the resizing of the image so we say that I am resize function which is used for resizing the image in our case the image is x and stored back to x so the previous value will be removed and the uh, uh, x matrix will now hold a 67 percent version of the original image 0 0.67 means a 67 percent so that's the case the image is shrink down to its 67 percent and now if we try to show this image with the help of I am show command which is also a member of um, image processing toolbox it will display the image without any warning so this is a nice looking image uh, with the light background and a dark object which is an apple in our case we try to extract this apple in throughout our uh, tutorial series so uh, this these are the basically two functions uh, with image show third one that we had touched so far one more command that you may use is whose function this function is you um, basically this command whose command is used to visualize the information related a variable in a workspace if you have some variable in a workspace and you want to know about its information some kind of information you can use whose command whose uh, with the help of space put the name of the variable and hit enter you will see something like this in, it is displaying the information name is x size is this which is, after resizing becomes 407 by 610 by 3 and total bytes its hold are 774 its kind of uh, 744810 total bytes and the class is uint8 which means an 8 bit wide matrix is used to store this image okay so if you want to write back this image to the directory um, to retrieve later your processed image and you want to save this image to the directory back so that you can retrieve that image uh, later on you can simply use a function I am write function to write back this image to the directory so in our case uh, we are trying to write this x variable to the directory I am using I am write function first argument is the image or the variable that I want to write on a directory and the second argument is the name of the uh, uh, name of uh, that image that I want to save with the name of in our case I will use the same name which is t1.jpg so 
now you are seeing an, uh, the image is in current directory if I want to retrieve this that image I can do this I am read without providing any folder name uh, directory name I can simply read that image back from the t1 directory and X is same uh, if you want to clear your workspace you can simply use the clear all command and try to read uh, again the image and you can see that image is a resized version of the image that we just resize and we can also verify this by displaying this image and image is displayed without displaying any warning on the command window so i think that's all for today's lecture uh, stay tuned for further uh, tutorials where we are trying to grab this apple out from the image Thank you so much. Stay tuned.